Thanks. I haven't even started talking yet, but thank you. Good evening. My name is April Strubar, and I will be your MC for this evening. I graduated um, last year, 98, from WCHS, and I'm really honored to be here with you tonight. Um, although I have to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous to do this because I've never emceed anything before. So if I make any dumb jokes, just laugh at them and, you know, just bear with me, okay? Um, let's see. The first number the company is going to be doing tonight is Blue Skies. And I guess that's all you need to know for right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, live from Washington, Illinois, it's Friday Night Live. Your nickel in my pot. 
I love both of those songs, and I just realized this. Um, the first song they sang, Blue Skies, I don't know how many of you have seen Patch Adams, but that's the song that Robin Williams is humming to that old nasty man in that room that nobody ever goes into or whatever. That's the song that he hums to him, you know, when he dies and stuff like that. It's really sad, but it's still a cool song. Okay, um, anyway, the, our first senior soloist is going to be Tom Felix. And I have my cheat sheets here. Tom is going to be attending Lincoln Christian College in the fall. Um, and his major is undecided right at the moment, but that's OK. Um, he says he's just always wanted to go there. And this past year, he's done lots of school stuff. Um, he said that's, all about, that's about all he had time for. Um, he also works at Hillcrest Golf Center. So if you ever go up there, ask for Tom. He'll help you out. Um, he's going to be singing All I Want Is You by U2. Um, and he says he just likes the song a lot. And he's going to be accompanied by Nate Hartrick on the guitar, Adam Stevens on the acoustic guitar, Brandon Isbell on bass, and Andrew Oliver on the drums, of course. And it sounds like they're just about ready. So here is Tom Felix singing All I Want Is You.
Carol Bushears is going to be singing for us next, and Carol is going to be going to Eureka College in the fall. And well, she might be changing that, but right now it's Eureka College. And she's going to major in biology and pre vet. And um, this past year, she was involved in a lot of things like student council, choir, company, and she was the drama club president. And tonight she's going to be singing Busy Man for you, and it's a country song. And she says that she feels um, it's kind of like how her life is sometimes. So here's Carol Brashears. Amen. 
Okay, well, the company's setting up for their next big number. Um, I am going to tell you a dumb joke, okay? I promise this will be the only one. Well, maybe not, but okay. I got this off the internet, so I can blame it on that if it's bad, okay? Okay, there was a great loss today in the entertainment world. The man who wrote the song Hokey Pokey died. What was really horrible is that they had trouble keeping the body in the casket. They put his left leg in and, well, you know the rest. <laughs> That's good? Good. All right. That's pretty good then. I'm excited. Okay. Since you like that one, I'll tell you another one. Okay. <clears throat> this one's really good. A preacher was completing a temperance sermon. With great expression, he said, if I had all the beer in the world, I'd take it and throw it into the river. With even greater emphasis, he said, and if I had all the wine in the world, I'd take it and throw it into the river. And then finally, he said, and if I had all the whiskey in the world, I'd take it down and throw it into the river. He sat down. The song leader then stood very cautiously and announced with a smile, for our closing song, let us sing hymn number 365, Shall We Gather at the River? Thank you. Good. Okay, one more, I promise. Okay, all right. I know I'm blonde, but I'm not dumb, okay? So I think this is valid to tell you this joke. A blonde is over at this Coke machine, putting 50 cents in, taking the Coke, putting it in her pockets, throwing the quarters in, taking the Coke, putting it in her pockets, throwing the quarters in, taking the Coke, putting it in her pockets. After a while, she has a Coke in every pocket. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she keeps going, stacking the Cokes around her on the floor. Finally, the guy behind her is getting really ticked off, and he asks her, what are you doing? She responds, Duh, I'm winning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I promise there will be more later, but now the company is ready and they're going to be performing Route 66 for you.
I'm back. Okay. Next, the jazz ensemble is going to be performing for you, and they're going to be performing three numbers, and I don't know what they are, but I hear that you have programs, so I'm sure it says it in there, so you can look it up, I guess. Um, I have some more blonde jokes. Okay. <clears throat> Why can't blondes take coffee breaks? They are too hard to retrain. Uh, I don't know about that one. Okay. Why can't blondes be pharmacists? They can't get the bottle into the typewriter. Okay. I like this one. What's the definition of eternity? Okay. Thank you. Four blondes at a four-way stop. Actually, blondes aren't the only ones who do that, okay? A lot of people stop for a really long time at stop signs. Um, oh, I really like this one. What did the blonde say when she looked into a box of Cheerios? Oh, look, donut seeds. <laughs> Woo. They like that too. They like that too back there. <clears throat> okay. Why do. <laughs> Why do blondes have TGIF on their shirts? Somebody know this one? Oh, okay. Because if you do, you can, I'll come down there and you can tell it, okay? So, just for a little variety. Anyway, TGIF stands for This Goes In First. <laughs> oh, and I already, I already told you the other one, so. They're not ready yet. You get to hear more. Okay, here are the bumper sticker ones. And last night we had some parents here and they really liked these, so I'm trusting that you'll like them too. Okay. Um, fight crime, shoot back. That was on a bumper sticker. It's pretty cute. Okay. Do you like that one, Grant? Yeah, all right. Um, Okay, honk if you've never seen an Uzi fired from a car window. <laughs> I liked that one. <laughs> you, okay, all right. Um, don't be sexist. Broads hate that. I like that one. Okay. Oh, this one's good. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. Okay. Um, if you lived in your car, you'd be home now. It's kind of dumb, I know. They're ready. Good, okay. Does that mean you don't like me or you're just really excited to see Mr. Tom and dance across the stage? Okay. Here is the jazz ensemble.
love those songs. I love them, love them. Okay, I just found this out that the, the woman that was directing the second song, her name is Jenny McClellan. And I'm sure many of you already know this, but um, she was the student teacher this past year. And she's really nice and sweet. And I'm sure you all will get to know a lot of her next year because she'll be here next year too. But um, next we will be hearing from another senior soloist. And it will be Amber Dagenhart. And when I asked Amber what she wanted me to say during this time before she sang her solo, um, she just gave me a look. And I decided um, I'd introduce her by saying, Amber Dagenhart, where do I begin? <laughs> um, many of you know that she was voted most unique out of her senior class, a title. Uh huh. <laughs> She's really proud of that. And um, that'll be really good um, for her because she's going to uh, go into advertising for her major at Bradley University in the fall. So um, she also told me to say, oh no, she also said to me, just tell what you think of me. And so, well, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> No, 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 nothing bad. I think Amber is very vivacious and very animated, and there's never a dull moment when you're with her. And um, she will be singing Diamonds Are Girl's Best Friend, and there's no doubt in my mind that you will be fully entertained. Um, oh, and by the way, this song goes out to Miss Luthy. So this is Amber singing Diamonds Are Girl's Best Friend. The French are glad to die for love. They delight in fighting duels. But I prefer a man who lives and gives expensive jewels. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat Or help you at the automat Men grow cold as girls grow old And we all lose our charms in the end But square cut or pear shape, these rocks won't lose their shape Diamonds are a girl's best friend I've heard of affairs that are strictly platonic But diamonds are a girl's best friend And I think affairs that you must keep masonic Are better bets If little pets get big baguettes Time rolls on and youth is gone And you can't straighten up when you bend But stiff back or stiff knees You stand straight at Tiffany's And diamonds are a girl's best friend at Yale, there's a lad whose appeal I acknowledge, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. I might like his dad, but when I meet a college boy, the thing I say is Ray, Ray, Ray for Cartier. Some girls find some peace of mind in a trust fund that banks recommend. But if you are busty, your trusty gets lusty. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Stash those rocks in your strong box, for on them you can always depend. It's not compensation, it's self-preservation. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. I told you you'd be entertained. Um, <clears throat> next, we have Kathy Bailey, and she will be singing Full of Grace by Sarah McLaughlin. Kathy will be going to Illinois State University in the fall, where she will major in special education. Um, I asked her why she chose to go to ISU, and she told me that everything just fell into place. Um, I guess when she and her mom visited the college, they skipped out on the dean's speech. 
and they ended up going around and talking to all the students. Um, I'm sure the dean wouldn't be too upset if he knew that because she's going there now, so it's all good. Um, Kathy's favorite soda is Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, <laughs> I just thought I'd include that because she was drinking one at the time I was asking her all this stuff. So um, She also told me to say that um, she shares a love for Sarah McLaughlin with Abby Tear. Um, and according to Brandon Mixon, a little birdie told Kathy to sing Full of Grace for you tonight, but she just says it's her favorite song. Um, she wants to thank Adam Stevens, Ben Browning, and Kim Gullett for playing for her and singing for her. Um, so here's Kathy Bailey singing Full of Grace. Winter here is cold and bitter. It's chilled us to the bone. We haven't seen the sun for weeks. Too long, too far from home. It feels just like I'm sinking. And I claw for solid ground I'm pulled down by the undertow I never thought I could feel so low Oh, oh, oh darkness, I feel like letting go If all of the strength and all of the courage come and lift me from this place, I know I can love you much better than this. Full of grace, full of grace, my better this way I said haven't seen this place before where everything we say and do hurts us all the more it's just that we stay too long in the same so low oh, oh, oh darkness I feel like letting go if all of the strength and all of the courage come and lift me from this place I know I can love you much better than Full of grace. I know I can love you much better than this. It's better this way. It's better this way. Aren't they so talented? They have so much talent this year. Go ahead.
I just wanted to say that because I knew you'd clap again, and I just like that power, you know, it's like clap, clap, and then you clap, oh, <laughs> clap. Okay, all right. Um, okay, I want to tell you a little bit about Cindy Moore. She's um, also appearing with the company tonight. She's also a senior, um, and <laughs> she wasn't really able to sing her solo tonight because last Sunday she came down with laryngitis, so she doesn't really have a voice to sing with. And it's really sad because she has a beautiful voice and she's also very talented. But um, she is planning on attending Goshen College next fall and she'll be majoring in elementary education. She wants to teach kindergarten and knowing Cindy, she'll do a great job with it. She's a very patient person. Um, she was active in choir, company, snowball staff and the musical this year. And she was also a part of the Allstate Choir. A lot of um, the people this year were involved in Allstate. Um, <clears throat> Cindy told me to say anything interesting about her, so she's very interesting. Um, uh, let's see, unfortunately you won't be able to hear her. Um, she had planned on singing Big Enough. I'm not really sure who that's by, but I'm sure it's a really good song. Um, I don't know. I'm sure she'd be willing to sing it for you if you asked her when she gets her voice back. But um, Okay. Also, um, Laura Gustafson is not going to be singing tonight with us, but um, she's also one of the seniors. Um, but she is going to be attending Western Illinois University this fall, and her major at the moment is undecided, but she is considering speech pathology. So now, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you any more jokes. You all, I, it was all suspenseful, right? Okay, I know. Okay, now the company will be performing 60s with a twist.
cute. Um, Aaron Dupree is going to be our next senior soloist, and he will be attending Millican University in Decatur, Illinois this fall. He is going to major in music, edu music education. Music education for now, he says. Um, he was in the Allstate Choir this year and has accomplished the feat of being in all four musicals here at WCHS. He chose to sing Angels Among Us because it is one of his favorite songs and he appreciates the rest of the company members for singing with him during this number. Aaron choreographed the number himself and wants to thank Sean Dagenhart for accompanying him in addition to so many of the other programs um, in the program tonight. So here's Aaron Dupree singing Angels Among Us. I'd like to dedicate this song to my parents, my family, Mrs. Ream, and my fellow students, because there are truly those, some of those angels among us. I was walking home from school on a cold winter day Took a shortcut through the woods and I lost my way It was getting late and I was scared and all alone Then a kind old man took my hand and led me home Mama could see him but he was standing there but I knew in my heart He was the answer to my prayer Oh, I believe there are angels among us Sent down to us from somewhere up above They come to you and me In our darkest hours To show us how to live us how to give, to guide us with the light of love. When I felt trouble times and had me down on my knees, there's always been someone to come along and comfort me. A kind word from a stranger to lend a helping a phone call from a friend to say I understand. In a kind of funny at the dark end of the road, someone lights the way with just a single ray of hope. Oh, I believe there are angels among us sent down to us. They come to you and me in our darkest hours To show us how to live, to teach us how to give To guide us with the light of love They wear so many faces, show up in the strangest places
a really neat song. I like it. Okay. I got some more stuff from the internet. Aren't you excited? Well, I am. Okay. This is just a bunch of uh, my mother taught me stuff. So, my mother taught me medicine. If you don't stop crossing your eyes, they're going to freeze that way. My mother taught me to think ahead. If you don't pass your spelling test, you'll never get a good job. My mother taught me ESP. Put your sweater on. Don't you think that I know when you're cold? My mother taught me to meet a challenge. What were you thinking? Answer me when I talk to you. Don't talk back to me. My mother taught me humor. When that lawnmower cuts off your toes, don't come running to me. <laughs> My mother taught me how to become an adult. If you don't eat your vegetables, you'll never grow up. My mother taught me about genetics. You're just like your father. <laughs> my mother taught me about the wisdom of age. When you get to be my age, you'll understand. My mother taught me about anticipation. Just wait till your father gets home. <laughs> my mother taught me about receiving. You're going to get it when we get home. And my all-time favorite thing, justice. One day you will have kids, and I hope they turn out just like you. Then you'll see what it's like. <laughs> Don't need that anyway. Okay, you are now going to be blessed to hear an angel sing. I'm not the only person who thinks this, and I probably just embarrassed her, but that's okay. Um, Kim Gullett is our next soloist, and her voice I think is truly that of an angel. Um, but just to keep you in suspense, I'll tell you a little bit about her. Um, she's going to be going to Bradley University also this fall and majoring in music education. Um, she says it was, she says Bradley was the best of her choices. So um, she really likes the words of the song that she's going to be singing and she's gonna be singing as if I were the only one to love. Um, she was, also in the Allstate Choir this year, and she was the best first soprano score in the district, which is a really big deal, and it's a really great thing, so why don't you clap for her? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Kim says that her senior year was, was um, her best and her favorite because she got to know a lot of people better. Um, and she's going to be accompanied by Ben Browning. So here is Kim Gullett. She's ready. Kim Gullett singing As If I Were the Only One to Love. my 
I told you she was good. <sighs> Guess what? I have some more stuff for you, okay? Some more bumper stickers, okay? So they're pretty good. Okay. All right. This was, I don't know if I did this one already. Oh, well. This was seen on the back of a biker's vest. If you can read this, my wife fell off. Was it that good, or are you just humoring me? Okay, um, here's one. Heart attacks, God's revenge for eating his animal friends. Ooh. <laughs> Boldly going nowhere. Yeah. Okay, oh, and here's one for all of you who don't like my jokes. Your ridiculous little opinion has been noted. So there. Um, if you can read this, no, yeah, if you can read this, please flip me back over. That was seen upside down on a Jeep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is another thing from the internet, okay. It says, ha have I got a proposal for you? Oh, wait. I'll keep you in suspense. I'll tell you that one later. Next. The company is going to be performing Aquarius and Let the Sun Shine. So here they are.
Save it for them. Save it for them. Okay. Um, did you enjoy intermission? Did y'all like that? <laughs> Clap. Okay. Um, next, the company will be performing Farmer Tan, and that's all I have to say. Farmer Tans were such a good thing. I didn't even know they wrote a song about it, but that's cute. Okay, um, next. It's so good that I can't see you and that these lights are right on me, you know? It's, it's really nice. Okay, the next number is going to be the guy's piece, and they're going to be singing Yakety Yak, but... Oh. <laughs> but before they do that, I have one last blonde joke. I promise it'll be the last one. The last one, okay. <laughs> I haven't even told it yet. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay. What do you call a basement full of blondes? A wine cellar. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I know that was kind of a dumb one to end it on, but that's okay. Um, I guess they're not ready yet. Has anybody seen Mrs. Rame around here? Hmm. I think they have a little surprise for you back there, but I'm not sure. So, um, here is the guy. Here are the guys, um, and they'll be singing Yakety Yak. Yeah, 
Don't talk back. Just put on your coat and hat and walk yourself to the laundry mat. And when you're finished doing that, bring in the dog and put out the cat. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. Very, very cute. I told you she wasn't around, you know. Um, okay, um, now the girls are going to perform for you, and I'm sure theirs will be just as good. They are going to be singing Naughty But Nice. So here are the girls.
good looking girls, huh? Okay. Um, whoa. Okay. Our next soloist is going to be Tony Brent. And, okay, you can clap for him. That's fine. Okay. I think I'll always remember Tony as Stan the Man in the WCHS ball play, The American Car. Just, I don't know why. It suits him, I guess. I don't know. Um, every time I think of that memory, I can't help but smile. Um, Tony is a very talented young man, not only in drama, but in music as well. Um, and I'm sure he will succeed in his major of music education when he attends Illinois Wesleyan in the fall. Tony was also in the All-State Band this year, and um, I'm sure many of you know he played John the Baptist in this year's Spring Musical. Brandon Mixon informed me that Tony was a Scholastic Bowl champion in the eighth grade. Um, but more importantly, Tony likes dipping potato chips in strawberry yogurt. I guess it tastes good. I don't know. I've never tried it. Um, he also likes the song he's about to sing for you. It's I Will Be Here by Stephen Curtis Chapman. And Tony will be accompanied by himself. morning if you wake up and the sun does not appear oh, I, I will be here if in the dark you lose sight of love hold my hand and have no fear cause I I will be here I will be here When you feel like being quiet When you need to speak your mind I will listen And I will be here When the laughter turns to crying Whether winning, losing, or trying We'll be together Cause I will be here Tomorrow morning if you wake up And the future is unclear oh, I, I will be here Sure as seasons are made for change, a lifetime is made for years. Oh, I, I will be here. I will be here. You can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells us we're older. I will hold you and I will be here to watch you grow in beauty and tell you all the things you are to me. I will be here. I will be true to the promise I have made to you and to the one gave you to me I, I will be here and 
just as long as seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years. Cause I, I will be here, we'll be together. Cause I will be here. Rachel Scott is going to be singing for us next. Um, I found out some interesting information while I was talking to Rachel um, about what I was going to say about her during this time. Um, and despite her efforts to keep me um, from telling this tragic story, I feel inclined to tell you because you know, we have a little time and it's pretty incredible. Okay. Apparently, Rachel has hit a cat on the way to every major musical event so far. <laughs> Except for this one, knock on wood, okay? I know, it's quite sad and I'll save you the tragic details. Um, I'm sure you could strike up a conversation with her later if you want to about it. I don't know. Anyway, um, Rachel is going to attend Bluffton College in Ohio this fall and she'll be majoring in early childhood education as an intervention specialist also known as special education. She will be singing Refine Me, a beautiful song by Jennifer Knapp, um, and she will be accompanied by Chad Ingold. So here's Rachel singing Refine Me. to this place burn to receive your peace I come with my own chains from wars I fought for my own selfish gain you're my God and my Father I've accepted your Son but my soul What have I become? Lord, come with your fire, burn my desires, refine me. Lord, my will has deceived me, please come and free me, refine me. My heart can't see when I only look at me, my soul. Can I speak your name? Lord, come with your fire, burn my desires, refine me. Lord, my will has deceived me, please come and free me. Come rescue this child, for I long to be reconciled to you. heart and soul to you and pray and pray oh I will pray Lord come with your fire burn my desires refine me Lord my will has deceived me please come and free me come rescue 
hear this child For I long to be reconciled to you Refine me, refine me Refine me, refine me Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have Benjamin Browning as our final senior soloist. <laughs> After graduation, Ben will be going to Italy to study Italian cuisine and cultures. <laughs> just kidding, okay, just kidding. He wanted, to make, he wanted to make sure you were all awake, so he asked me to say that, okay. Um, ben will really be attending Lincoln Christian College and will actually be studying music ministry. Um, ben was also in the Allstate Choir this past year. Um, he played the lead as Jesus in the spring musical and was in other musical activities, as he puts it. And, oh, no, the blazer is not his. Uh, ben will now sing Hold On to Jesus, a song by Stephen Curtis Chapman, Ben Browning. I have come to this ocean And the waves of fear are starting to grow The doubts and questions are rising with the tide So I'm clinging to the one sure thing I know I will hold on to the hand of my Savior And I will hold on With all my might And I will hold loosely To things that are fleeting I will hold on to Jesus I will hold on to Jesus For life I've tried to hold many treasures They just keep slipping through my fingers like sand But there is one treasure That means more than breath itself So I'm clinging to it with everything I am And I will hold on to the hand of my Savior And I will hold on With all my might And I will hold loosely To things that are fleeting I will hold on to Jesus I will hold on to Jesus for life like a child holding on to a promise I will cling to his word and believe As I press on to take hold of that For which Christ Jesus took hold of me And I will hold on the hand of my Savior and I will hold on with all my might and I will hold loosely 
to things that are fleeting. I will hold on to Jesus for life. I will hold on to Jesus for life. I will hold on to Jesus. I will hold on to Jesus for life. While the jazz band sets up for their next, um, bless you, <laughs> set, their next set, um, oh, it says in the program that they're doing three numbers, but they're only doing two, something about a coconut and one about Ruth, and Mr. I asked Mr. Tallman if I could do that, and he, do this, and he said yes, so I'm going to dedicate the song Ruth or whatever to Leah my friend Leah, because her middle name is Ruth, and she's in Italy right now, so I just wanted to do that, so it's dedicated to her. Anyway, remember how I said I'd get back to you on something? You know what I was going to tell you about? Well, I have to tell you, okay? Um, it's called, Have I Got a Proposal for You? And I'm going to tell you this because I did this really funny thing to my mom while I was out at college this year. Um, she came out for, we have this thing called Mother's Week, so she came out for the week and it was all fun and we got to do mother-daughter things, it was good. Um, anyway, well I had one of my friends um, fake this proposal to me and we got her so good. She totally believed us and it was really funny, although, you know, she thinks it's funny now but she didn't really think it was funny then, but <laughs> it, was, it was really fake, okay, very fake. Okay. Um, anyway, the boy says, why won't you marry me? Is there someone else? And the girl says, there must be. That's pretty funny. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Joe says, what would you say if I asked you to be my wife? And Flo says, nothing. I can't talk and laugh at the same time. <laughs> these are good, you know, if anybody says these two girls, you know. Okay, um, ha ha. <laughs> okay, May says, no. Okay, well, the guy says, I've been asked to get married lots of times. And the girl says, who asked you? And the guy says, mom and dad, lots of times. <laughs> Sounds like they're still setting up back there. So you get one more joke, okay? Elderly man was at home, dying in bed. He smelled the aroma of his favorite chocolate chip cookies baking. He wanted one last cookie before he died. He fell out of bed, crawled to the landing, rolled down the stairs, and crawled into the kitchen where his wife was busily baking cookies. With as much strength as he could muster, he crawled to the table and was just barely able to lift his withered arm to the cookie sheet. As he grasped, grasped a warm, moist chocolate chip cookie, his favorite kind, his wife suddenly whacked his hand with a spatula. Why, he whispered, why did you do that? They're for the funeral. <laughs> okay, it sounds like they're ready now. So here is the jazz ensemble. Thank you. 
Thank you. Real quick, I'd like to introduce the senior members of the Jazz Ensemble for our last number. Uh, back at, behind the percussion section uh, are Gene Krupa on Sing Sing Sing, Mr. Tom Felix. <laughs> on the guitar, Nate Hartrick. <laughs> Staying right next to Nate on the trombone, Eric Dupree. <laughs> on the trumpet at back here, great singer Ben Browning. On the Barry saxophone, Jeremy Tapp. <laughs> on the other side, on the tenor saxophone, Tony Brent. We're going to close our set with a Buddy Rich chart called Ruth.
just wouldn't be Friday Night Live without just the jazz ensemble. So let's give them one more round of applause. Everybody clap. Thank you. Okay. Um, while the company is getting ready for their final number, um, we have a lot of people who helped out with the program tonight, and we want to thank them. We want to thank the stage crew, um, uh, Katrina Todd, Molly Sauter, and April Powell on lights, um, Kirsten Plowman and Alex Valencic were on the spots right there, um, Adam Valencic, Aaron Hurt, and Christina Nance were backstage help. And Dan Weil um, did the sound. Let's see, we want to thank Leo's florist and Patrice Essig for providing the decorations, and Mercy Tabor, Lori Bailey, Carol Velocio, Terry Felix, and Joan Prina for helping out with that. Aren't the decorations very beautiful tonight? <laughs> and Joan and Mike Prina did the program. Clap, clap, that's good. And tonight's program is recorded by Master Video. Um, there are order forms outside if you want to have your very own copy, and I highly recommend it. Um, and thanks to Lynn Coverstone. Um, sounds like they're getting ready back there, but um, I've really enjoyed being with you tonight. It's been a lot of fun, and thank you. And the company will perform their last number. It will be Grease. So it should be really fun. So here's the company performing Grease.
What's that playing on the radio? Why do I start swaying to and fro? I have never heard that song before. But if I don't hear it anymore, it's still familiar to me, sends a chill right through me. Cause the chords remind me of the night that I first fell in love to. Those magic changes. My heart arranges a melody that's never the same. A melody that's calling your name and begs you, please come back to me. La, 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 la. Please return to me. La, Don't la, go la, la, away la, la. again or make them play again. The music I want to hear does as before. You whispered in my ear.
Mrs. Reem, would you please come out here? On behalf of the company, um, I would like to present these to you, Mrs. Reem. Um, they're just a small token of our gratitude for everything that you've given to us this year. We know it's been rough um, dealing with everything and trying to handle your time, but we're um, very grateful for all that you give us, and we're especially grateful for sharing your gift of mu music with us. Thank you very much. And I'll remind you of the 
keep the flame alive in you. I will be your shield, cause I know how it feels when you are a soldier. And I will be your shield, cause I know how it feels. Thank you so much. Um, if you know me at all, you know that it is one of the greatest privileges of my life to have worked with these students. Um, and for the past six years, it has been an absolute joy to work with them. We have bumpy days, but we have an awful lot of good ones. And I'm so delighted to uh, just be a part of their days. And um, I'm so grateful for all that they have given to me. It has been a wonderful, wonderful experience for me to be here. Um, it's also been a wonderful experience to work with one of the best friends I have ever had. Um, Jim Tallman, I'm really going to miss working with you next year, but I'm going to bug you a lot, so don't, <laughs> don't think I'll go too far. Um, once again, thank you for all your support of these kids and all your support of what goes on at this school. Without you, we would not have this, um, and, I am, and I am just grateful to be a part of it. We want to ask at this time that those of you that are Washington graduates um, would like to come up and join us on the stage for our annual singing of Friends. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> 